I'd like to object again to being brought here against my will. Okay, I'm just gonna double check your form here. Ron, you redacted all the information. I answered some of them. For date of birth, you wrote springtime. Which is true. Everything you write down is confidential. We need you to give real answers. Fine. How many drinks of alcohol do you consume a week? One. That's it? One drink? One shelf. Do you exercise? Yes, love making and woodworking. Do you have any history of mental illness in your family? I have an uncle who does yoga. Allergies? Cowardice and weak-willed men. And hazelnuts. Sexual history? Epic and private. Okay, I'm gonna go get your doctor. He's a rude, brash jerk. You'll love him. Before you begin, a few ground rules. I need you to explain everything you do before you do it so I can determine whether I will allow you... Oh. Mm. Ah. Balsa wood? You could at least use mahogany. <laughs> There's something occluding your ear. It's sawdust. Just blow. Oh. You've got strep throat, writing a prescription for penicillin. We'll have the rest of your test results in about 20 minutes. Cholesterol. Not interested. Good day. Wish all patients were like that. It's really annoying when they ask questions. Hey, you look better. I guess actual medicine can be effective. Who to thunk? Please leave me alone. Not until we go over your test results and your blood work. Your blood pressure looks fine. I'm not sure how this is possible, but your cholesterol is 120, which is the lowest I've ever seen. What's cholesterol? And the only problem I see is that your potassium's low, so just eat a banana once in a while. No, thank you. I live the way I live. I eat the things I eat, and I'll die the way I'll die. That's oddly beautiful, but also stupid. You're not alone in the world anymore, Ron. You're dating a woman who has two kids. So every three days, think about Ivy and Zoe and Diane and eat a damn banana. Hi, Ron. Hi, Ron. Ladies, ladies. Thank you.